Hello everybody, I'm Jesse with PyTop and today we're going to be learning how to build our first robot with the PyTop Robotics Kit called Alex. Alex is a configuration designed for autonomous driving and AI projects. It incorporates a pan tilt servo motor mechanism mounted on the front which gives the wide angle camera two degrees of freedom and a full 180 degrees of range in both axes. Its ultrasonic sensor is also attached to the pan tilt servo motor mechanism which enables Alex to perform full 180 degree scans to look for possible obstacles. Finally, the two high powered, high accuracy encoder motors are positioned at the front of the vehicle allowing for more accurate positioning for projects such as line following. So now we know what Alex does, here are the parts you're going to need. Just pause the video here and make sure you have all these parts organized and in front of you. You're also going to need one rivet removal tool, one 2.5mm Allen key, and one 2mm Allen key. The star tool of all your builds is definitely going to be this guy right here, the rivet tool. Make sure you keep this somewhere you can remember, it makes deconstructing your projects a lot easier. Okay, so you have all the parts you need laid out and organized. The first thing we're going to do is learn how to use the PyTop rivets. The robotics kit contains short rivets and long rivets. Short rivets connect two build plates together. Long rivets connect three build plates together. So when connecting plates using rivets, place them together and press the rivet through the plates. To remove the rivet, take your rivet tool and use the forked end to pop the rivet out of the plates. Remember to keep your rivets safe. You can use them over and over and over again for different builds. Okay, so we're ready to start building. Before we begin though, remember, Building a robot, it's not a race, and it's always better to make sure you're placing the rivets correctly than having to unbuild something because you went too fast or you skipped some steps. So let's begin building and make the rear bumper. Take two 2x2 two two 90 degree brackets and one 10x2 build plate with four short rivets. Now connect the brackets at the end of the 10x2 build plate. Next, we're going to add to the rear bumper. Grab two 120 degree brackets, one 2x14 build plate, and four long rivets. Take the two small 120 degree brackets and sandwich them in place with the large build plate. The next step is to attach the rear bumper to the chassis. Take the chassis piece and four short rivets, place the rear bumper under the chassis and push the rivets through. The next step is attaching the caster wheel. Take it and eight short rivets. Place the caster wheel under the chassis and connect it with the rivets. Now we're going to build the side bumpers. You'll need to make two of these, so take two 2x2 two two 90 degree brackets, one 2x14 build plate, and four short rivets. Place the small 90 degree plates on the edges of the large build plate and push in the small rivets. Now we're going to complete the side bumper with two 2x2 two two 120 degree brackets, one 2x14 two build plate, and four long rivets. Place the small rivets onto the small brackets and sandwich them in place with the large build plate. Then push in the rivets. 
Next, we need to repeat what we just did to create the second bumper. So do that now. Now we're going to attach the side bumpers to the chassis. Take the bumpers and place the 120 degree bracket against the chassis. Now take 8 short rivets and attach the bumpers to the chassis. All right, well the robot's really starting to take shape now. Let's move on to the front bumper. Take four two by two 120 degree brackets and two four by eight build plates with eight short rivets. Take the 120 degree build plates and position them so they meet at the center of the four by eight build plate but facing away from each other. Take four rivets and bolt them in to the right side of one of the larger build plates. Now take the same materials and attach them to the second build plate on the left. Next, take one 2x14 build plate and attach them to the bottom of the bumpers to make one large front bumper piece. Next, take the front bumper and connect it to the chassis in the front with four short rivets. Now it's time to get the expansion plate. Take the expansion plate and bolt it to the top of the chassis, which is the raised portion of the chassis. Place the expansion plate upside down on your desk, put the chassis on top, and place four short rivets into the very corners of the expansion plate. Next up, we're gonna be working with the encoder motors. So take one encoder motor, one wheel connector and grub screw, and one two millimeter hex key. Place the wheel connector over the motor axle and then place the grub screw inside the hole in the wheel connector. Use the hex key to tighten the grub screw into the wheel axle. Now you're gonna take two two x five 90 degree build plates and eight short rivets. Place the build plates on the side of the encoder motor so that the top build plate is over the motor, not facing away from it, and then insert the rivets. Now we're gonna repeat this process we just did with the other encoder motor. Okay, now comes a fun part. We're gonna place the encoder motors onto the chassis. Do this by placing the encoder motors on the table with the build plate facing up. Place the chassis on top of the encoder motors and bolt the build plates of the encoder motors to the chassis right behind these front bumper rivets 
and right before these side bumper rivets. Make sure the motors are attached in the correct direction. Next up are the wheels. Take both of the wheels and two M4 wheel screws and one 2.5 millimeter hex key. Place the wheels on the side of the motor where the wheel connector is and screw the M4 wheel screw into the wheel connector using the 2.5 millimeter hex key. All right, have a look at this. We're really starting to get something that looks like a robot. Next up, we're gonna be building the pan tilt servo mechanism. Take one two by two 90 degree bracket, one servo motor and four short rivets. Place the 90 degree plate onto the base of the servo motor. Make sure the bracket is attached to the bottom of the motor and not the top. Next, Take the other servo motor and place the top of the motor so that the port is facing upwards onto the 90 degree plate. Use four rivets to secure the servo motor in place. All right, take a look at this. By connecting the servo motors like this, we're able to look up and down, left and right. This means our robot Alex is gonna be able to look in all directions as it travels around. Now take the pan tilt servo mechanism and attach it to the front bumper on the robot chassis using four short rivets. Next, take the camera and place it on the front of the top servo motor, making sure the port is facing up. Now we take the ultrasonic sensor and place it on the lower servo motor, making sure the port is facing downward. Next, grab your Pi Top 4 and place it on top of the robot chassis like this. Okay, well we're into the home stretch here. Last thing to do is connect all the wiring. First, let's attach the encoder motors. Take the two six pin encoder motor cables and first attach them to the expansion plate and then attach those wires to the six pin ports in the encoder motors. Next, it's time to connect the three pin servo motor cables. First, attach them to the expansion plate, then attach them to the servo motors. The lower servo motor must be attached to pan servo port S0, and the top servo motor must be attached to tilt servo port S3. Next, take a micro USB cable and attach the cable to the camera and then attach the USB into either of the USB ports on the back of the expansion plate. Finally, we take a four pin sensor cable and attach that to the ultrasonic sensor and we attach that to the D3 port on the expansion plate. And there we have it. Alex has been built and you're all ready to progress to the next robotics lesson plans. The PyTop Robotics Kit has a wide range of resources you can use to hit the ground running on your robotics journey. Whether you're just starting out, are a seasoned pro, or anything in between, there's something for everyone. So head over to further.pytop.com, get coding, and bring Alex to life.